Hey everyone. I just wanted to quickly show you what's going on in the garden. I know I haven't posted for a while, but it's been so hot. I'm just trying to keep everything alive like every year. So I just have some of the more hardy plants here on the table. I do have this arbor that has like a little shade on top. Um, I have to redo this whole area. It's overgrown. The lemon, oh, it's trying to do good. Just wanted to show you what's going on here. On this side, I moved my hydrangea and I have her covered because it's been so hot and I just moved her. I don't want to, you know, her to have some shock. Um, she seems to be doing pretty good. Um, yeah, she just got too big for a pot. I did buy a huge pot, but uh, she, she didn't like it. She only gave me two blooms. I did feed her. This is my other uh, milkshake hydrangea that was frying in the sun too. So yeah, these are better left off with only a little bit of sun in the morning. Hello, Carlotta. Hi, sweetheart. Beautiful TNR kitty. Okay. And let me see, let me show you up here. What's going on here? See this right here with the parcel line is doing beautiful. It's a parcel line I got at uh, Lowe's. I have new growth on all my martillos. And let me just go hit the Sansevier is doing great, the Sayuri. And let me just show you. Look at the ficus here. It's doing great. I do have some here and they all have babies. All these this uh Moonshine, moonshine, isn't it beautiful? I have a whale tail back there, it's gorgeous. And my sink, I'm almost gonna have drainage for my sink. I mean, I, right now it drains into a, a bin, but we do have a system to put some draining in there. I have to redo that shade. But yeah, I just wanted to show you with the, all the babies, the, um, this agave peri I has one two three four five six because there's one over here by the turtle so yeah she's doing really good and this uh agave regina or something like that it's called I love it Victoria Regina um, it takes a long long time to grow but it's finally showing some growth Look at the babies on the martillo. This is like a crest at the top with some arms. I cut off some arms. Now, how am I managing this hot, hot sun here in Southern California? <sighs> this one got sunburned, as you can see. It must have gotten wet, and then the sun burned it. I don't see any disease. These are new plantings because I had to get rid of all my apuntia. And so I took some back from a person I had given some to. I asked for some cuttings and they're just taking off. But anyhow, I wanted to show you that I have umbrellas up. In the past, I've put sun sails, but these umbrellas were really cool. Got them at Big Lots and they just are great. I have several um, down here and they just help a lot with just the scorching sun because I do have this bed here that um, has succulents and for the most part everything's doing good except for the starry night aloe. It had a lot of little babies that just are not liking the sun at all and even though this one is covered as you can see here look this must have gotten wet also um, I had some help here in the garden and we don't water in the morning at the top. Um, you're supposed to water at night. And uh, maybe that's what happened, I don't know. But yeah, they're crunchy. Let's let some of that sun in. And, but they'll, they'll, these are very hardy. As you can see, this side is good. Um, I could go ahead and put uh, the umbrella more this way, but this, this is not the hottest part of the day. 
uh, I have the umbrella where when the sun hits the hardest, uh, the hottest, you know, it, uh, it gets plenty of protection. <sighs> Showing you my grapefruit. I'm still hopeful. I'm moving it here, there, everywhere. Um, it's got little flowers. Poor thing, it's not going to get fruit, but it's trying really hard. And it's got a, not, a lot of new little leaves. I put it in this raised kind of like bed that I have here. So it's got plenty of good soil in there. We'll see what happens. And this one I have the sticks on fire cutting that finally is taking off because they take a long, long time. I have some oregano my mother-in-law gave me and some little um, zinnias that came up again. Those self-seed, um, I did plant them from seed. This is kind of like the, um, I can't remember what it's called, like the purple queen, but this is the, or I don't know what kind of a, this just came out. It was together with my sedum here that um, I moved to this bed. And this bed is just gorgeous. It's just so pretty. Look at all the uh, ag um, agavoides that I have here. Isn't that beautiful? And there's a lot of, this is the mini, um, the mini um, elephant bush. And I do have this Echeveria, well, I'm sorry, this is, uh, this is the Sahara. Echeveria Sahara. See, look at the difference between the starry night here and the starry night over there. That one really does not like sun. But anyhow, I haven't really, I know it looks very overcrowded here, uh, but I'm just not wanting to mess with them right now. I do have a lot of plantings here. I had to finally get rid of my tomatoes because I just cut them down completely because I don't want to uproot the root right now, but they got really infested. I'm hoping to save my, uh, these are uh, serrano chilies and I think jalapeno. Um, or maybe those are bell pepper. I don't remember. Something was devastating my um, peppermint. And I, so I just put some of that Captain Jack's or something powder on there for the bugs. And hopefully it'll pop back. This one, if you cut it down completely, leave the roots in the ground, it'll pop up nice again and the insects could have fresh feed. <laughs> but yeah, pretty much that's that's what's going on. Um, I did plant two of these eggplants and one of them already got super attacked and totally eaten by something. So this one again, I put that powder here at the bottom and I'm hoping this one also um, had some little eggs on it. I tried to clean it as best I could. It did have uh, a fruit already. It did give a little eggplant and this is lemongrass. This is my lemongrass. Just uh, great. I have it up here because I don't want the kitties to, um, yeah, to, you know, just get a hold of the lemongrass because I don't want hair all over it. I do want to drink it. I like drinking it in teas. And let me see. What else? Hello, Agatha. We have um, a peppermint that I took out of there, thank goodness, because. It got spared from all the eating. And also this one here, look at this. This is a uh, hydrangea that my, my daughter gave me for Mother's Day. And you know, they force grow those, so usually they'll die out, but I kind of figured out how to make them, give them a second life here. You just cut it all down, leave some leaves on there, and then just, you know, just keep an eye on it. Don't put it in the sun and look, I have fresh new beautiful beautiful growth on there these are uh, just cuttings that are rooting already this is uh, the geranium and that one is very very hardy let me show you the difference of that eggplant this is the other eggplant I was trying to save it so I cut it all off and yeah so we'll see we'll see what happens with it I think there's still hope because there's some little leaves new leaves coming out beautiful beautiful um succulents happening here this one i'm gonna have to take it back to costco i think 
Um, they sell stuff there sometimes that's not perfect for this climate. This one has not wanted to take off here. It's just looking very bad and uh, I don't have it in full sun or anything. I tried it and it did not like it at all. Um, I wanted to give it partial at the beginning and yeah, just anyhow, it's trial and error. But yeah, this one I read that it's not good for our zone. It's more like a zone nine, eight, nine, and we're a, a zone 10. So yeah, good thing that Costco has a good returning policy. I hate to do that, but I don't think it's gonna survive. And really, where am I gonna put it where it's gonna get a bunch of shade? I did buy this humongous pot really big um but yeah okay well um that's all i wanted to say i wanted to just give you a looky here at my garden in july 2024 have a beautiful beautiful day and uh yeah, just keep cool and safe and healthy all right talk to you in the next video